Uh, okay, so I'm a comic book artist. Uh, also work on storyboards, animation sometimes, and probably best known for my work on Freak Angels with Warren Ellis, uh, which is a free web comic, uh, freakangels.com. <laughs> and uh, currently working on my own project, uh, which is called The Firelight Isle, um, which I've used Kickstarter to fund a little bit of the beginning of, and I'm looking for a publisher for it now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty tough. Um, to start off with, I was doing uh, six pages a week, coloring, penciling, uh, uh, the whole thing myself, and yeah, I caused myself health problems in the end from that. So I ended up getting a colorist and um, uh, and then the, the workload got a lot easier and we had break weeks and stuff. So uh, that, that got okay, but I do, I do not miss the weekly deadlines. <laughs> Well, the, the, the free weekly idea, I think, was mainly Warren's. He'd done a lot of work for Avatar Press, um, which uh, I think sort of, had it been any other publisher and any other author, it, the idea wouldn't have got off the ground because it, it's kind of ludicrous, the idea of paying someone sort of full page rate to produce a comic and then putting it for free online and not making your money back until the trades. Um, but Warren said, give it a go, try and make your money back off merchandise and... Avatar indulged him, so um, at that point they started looking for uh, for an artist, and I just happened to pop by the engine, Warren's old forum, um, and post some of my work up, and it, it was just as simple as an email after that. <laughs> it was just luck, basically. <laughs> Well, it's slightly embarrassing to say so, but I didn't really know much about him before I started. So um, it was kind of the project that introduced me to Warren. I, like, I, I come from a background where I'm, I've been sort of traditionally more of a fan of Japanese comics and, um, and animation. And recently I've just been discovering Western comics as well, which has been cool. And Freak Angels was the project that really got me started on that. Um, and I think particularly they were looking for like a Euro manga style um, for, the, uh, for the comic. So kind of that's where I came in um, but yeah now now I'm a big Warren Ellis fan but I'm kind of um, I'm kind of glad in a way that I didn't have that pressure when I started um, and in terms of what it's like to work with him um, there wasn't much contact to be honest he'd just send me the script so I'd get on with it not a very large amount of editorial control um, so I mean, it was lovely working on his scripts. They were always nice and clear. He always you know, gave really nice explanations when there was something that really needed focusing on or left me space when it was just a character shot. And yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, in fact, um, when I, the reason, the, the, the moment it hit home was just after I got the, uh, uh, just after I got the gig and I told my housemate, who happened to be a big Transmetropolitan fan, and I'd seen the comics lying around before, but I hadn't really, you know, nothing had twigged, and he was like, oh my god, you're working with Warren Ellis, that's incredible, kind of thing, and then I started reading Transmetropolitan and Red Planetary, and actually the, the thing I've enjoyed most has been his, um, uh, his apparat uh, line in uh, Avatar, I like, like, really enjoyed his short stories, especially um, Frankenstein's Womb and Crazy. Um, not in terms of story, no. In terms of um, sort of page progression, and you know, I was allowed to experiment with with uh, page layout and all that kind of stuff. But it really was just sort of six pages of script come each week, and I'd do that six pages of script. If there was something that say didn't work on a practical level, I'd have to email them and say, look, this isn't working. Can we tweak? But um, you know, that that was very rare. So. Okay. I can't really say anything about it at this stage, um, but uh, I've got all of the um, thumbnails finished, I've got all the script finished, uh, I've done a lot of design work for it. Fingers crossed I'm hoping to have the first um, sort of episode of it out before Christmas. Um, but yeah, I mean doing, doing my own writing and, and drawing has been a dream of mine since I started comics. Probably again because I you know, grew up on manga where you don't really get writers and artists, you get creators who do their own work. And the you know the writer artist setup is the exception rather than the rule. Um, so I've always seen writing and drawing as part of creating comics all together. Um, I've done a lot of sort of my own short stories and stuff before, but this is my first long one.
hopefully, yeah, yeah. I, I would really like to stick with that publishing model because I think it's it's progressive. It gives people something really interesting. It creates a kind of a sense of, um, you know, when, when someone reads something for free online and they enjoy it, they feel grateful and, you know, I like doing it that way. Thank you.